Are you looking for a way to level up your presentations? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you a new update from Keynote that you're going to love. Welcome to the Learning Pro Live. My name's Kath Ellis, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about a new update in Keynote. And to get that update, obviously, you're going to need to make sure that you've got the latest update installed. Let me show you exactly what it does. So you can now, drum roll, put yourself into a Keynote presentation. That is so awesome. And it is really easy to do. All you'll need to do is go to Insert Live Video. And here you go. Let me just change this so we can just look at Keynote. So I'm now in Keynote and I can be placed anywhere. I can be full screen if I want to. I can, if I go to format live video, I can be zoomed in. I can be put into a different format, like a shape or a circle, or even a custom shape if need be. I can have corner radius applied. I can also go into style and I can add things like line or even a picture frame if I wanted to. Okay. So there's lots of different things that you can do. Now, this is my presentation that I'm putting together for ATD. And I found this functionality. And it made me think about my presentation. If I'm stood up at the front of a theatre, I may have 100 people in the room watching my presentation. So to actually be able to put myself on the screen, it means that I don't have static screens. People are concentrating on me all the time especially for someone who's at the back of a screen at the back of a theater they may find it hard to see me so i'll show you some of the different ways that i've implemented this this will also level up online conferences presentations to be able to apply this is so much better than having a little zoom window on the right hand side so let me show you exactly what i've done I'm just going to play it in a window. So you can see I've been able to use all the native keynote interactions or animations, I should say. Here I've got my slide. I've created a lower third. Now I'll show you all of these are native. They're not videos. I've actually created everything in um, keynote. We've got a banner going across the bottom. You can see I just zoomed out. So you can give yourself room if you need be to present something if you needed to on a side of the screen. I'd normally never use an animation like this, but I wanted to show you, you can animate things. Also, you've got, uh, you know, you can be creative. So here, this is a very, very popular kind of style screen that you see in YouTube videos. And I'm going to come to the, something really exciting in a minute. Here, I've just got me small and I've got, uh, you know, an image on the screen that I'm showcasing. Here, I've put myself to the left and I can just talk through my concepts. I think this is so much more engaging than having just the, um, the text or image on the screen. I can also put up an overlay really your imagination is the only thing that's going to limit you. All right. So you can see here that I've created all of these objects. You know, some of these things are pretty cool in the way that you can, if I show my build order, you know, I've got things coming in. Uh, so 
you can you can really create some great looking content here again I've been able to animate things in now I mentioned before about you know this is a very very uh, common YouTube layout I get asked this all the time Kath how do you create these videos that you've been creating you know how do you do this I use a tool called Ecamm Live um uh, it's it's a couple of hundred dollars. It's really great value for money, but it takes a little bit of um, you need you need quite a powerful computer to do it. And from looking at this, I thought people will be able to use this for so much. I wonder if you can actually record with this kind of layout, and you can. Are you ready? This is so cool. All right. So if we go to play, and I'm just going to clear my previous recording. So I go play, record slideshow. Okay, I'm just going to take this back to my very first screen. You can see I've got my audio coming through. And over here, you've got the record button. And I've got everything that I need if I want to record this. So let me just do a quick demo. So I'm going to pretend that this is a YouTube video that I'm creating. I've got my animation. I've introduced myself. Here, I've got the name of the video that I'm creating. I'm now introducing myself. Here's my lower third. Next up, I'm going to show a banner just highlighting what I'm talking about. I've zoomed myself out. I've got things appearing on the screen. I'm showing other content. And here I've got another layout. And finally, it might be a wrap up message. Okay, so once I'm finished, all I do is I click on end recording. And I close it. Now, what I can do from here is I can play that recorded slideshow. So I'm going to pretend that this is a YouTube video that I'm creating. I've got my animation. I've introduced myself here. I've got the name of the video that I'm creating. I'm now introducing myself. Here's my lower third. Next up, I'm going to show a banner just highlighting what I'm talking about. I've zoomed myself out. I've got things appearing on the screen. I'm showing other content. And here I've got another layout. And finally, it might be a wrap up message. Okay, so once I'm finished, all I do. All right. How amazing is that? It's so good. Now, what you can do is you'll go to file and you'll go to export movie. From here, you're going to make sure you click on slideshow recording. Leave the resolution, okay? 1920 by 1080 is a pretty standard. You know, the quality is going to be good. 30 frames per second. Apple ProRes 4444. And you're going to click here with transparent backgrounds, just in case you have got something transparent. From here, I'm just going to save it in my documents. I'm going to call it test. I call everything test, though. All right. Now, this is going to export out. And as soon as this is done, I'll quickly show you what this looks like. You can upload it onto YouTube. Really, I think that this is so exciting. So for things like pre-records, you could do this. If you wanted to create videos or do something live, um, you know, you've got basically a tool that's incredibly powerful. Now that is in my documents. Let's just open it up. All right. And here we go. So I'm going to pretend that this is a YouTube video that I'm creating. I've got my animation. I've introduced Okay, now, 
Just going to show you a couple more things before we wrap this up. I really hope that this is useful. Uh, for me, it's got my mind racing with the amount of things that I can do with this. When you are um, setting this up under live video, this is where you pick your video. Now, you don't need to just put one video in. So if you wanted to do a kind of top down, if you were, think of how difficult that's, that is to do that live, right? We all have some kind of phone. You can use things like Epoch Cam to um, connect it as a second device. So you could essentially do kind of top-down recording, you know, over to the side. Um, so if, if I had another camera device, I could select it and name it and choose on that other page. Uh, but here I've just got one camera. But really, there's l so much that you can do with this. As always, I hope that this video has been useful. If you have liked what you've seen today, please like and subscribe. I really would appreciate that. And um, if you have any questions about this video, please drop them in the comments below. Thanks so much for checking this out. And let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video.